What's going on guys? It's Will here from TechandConsumer.com and today I'm coming at you guys with a review of Amazing Breaker. Alright, so let's jump right in and open up the application. And first off on the main screen here you'll see a giant play button along with the leaderboards, settings, and achievements button. And then on the bottom left, Twitter and Facebook, these are the developer's accounts. And Open Faint is to the bottom right. So let's go ahead and hit play. And select a stage or chapter or whatever you want to call it. They call it a stage. I'll select stage one. And level one this will give you guys a basic idea of what the actual gameplay is and how it works and then i'll do one more level explaining to you guys all of the different explosives so the way it works is on a slingshot basis you basically fling the explosives at the um piece the glass art or whatever and it blows it up and when you blow up all of the glass art, you have completed the level. You don't have to uh, complete all of it. You can do up to 90%. And 90% is the passing threshold. So once you get past 90%, you've passed the level. And here, um, they, they pretty much give you almost an infinite amount of these little red explosives at the beginning these are the most basic type and there's more types in the next level but these types you basically just fling them and they stick to the glass and they blow up they have a delayed blow um but they do they don't have any special features to them and there's a little particle over there that i seem to have missed Level 1 complete, and as you guys can see, it says next level, replay level, and select level. And up at the top, we can see level 1 complete again. Three stars, your score, high score, and all that good stuff. So let's move on to select level, and we'll go to a much more um, challenging level, which involves all of the mines that you will receive there's actually quite a few uh different ones that you can um, use to blow up the glass and in order to switch between them you can have two of them in your queue at a time you can have one in the slingshot and then one in your selection queue and you can hit this uh almost like a refresh button in order to swap them so this first one right here is a green one, which you can either uh, throw right at it for a non-delayed blow, or as you guys can see, split it apart, and it'll launch mines. This purple one, not only does it fly through all of the glass, but it also, you can tap up to three times to lay down mines. Even if all the mines have not been released, it'll still blow itself up. And it's very useful for making a quick chain reaction without having to use two mines. Uh, the last one I just used was a blue one, and same thing with this one. These ones basically go right through, and you can actually control them, sort of, uh, by going swiping left and right. You guys may have also seen these glass orbs, almost, that if you blow up a mine near them, they will also blow up, and they will flow down into your inventory as more mines of that type that they display so it's actually really cool and it's also useful for when you're in a tight situation and you need more mines on the pause menu there are two new buttons continue and help help tells you what all the different mine types are it's very um ineff ineffective at giving you any help if you already know what the mine types are there's no links to any walkthroughs for the level or anything like that. No, there's basically no help at all besides what the mine types are. So it's really, 
In my opinion, that's pretty inconvenient. So let's go back to select the level here and we'll hit back again and show you guys how many stages there are. There are four stages with new levels coming soon. I really hope there's new levels coming soon because this game is really fun. Uh, if I had to say yes or no to buying it, I would say absolutely positively yes. This game is awesome for just to pick up and play on the bus, on the subway, wherever, even if you're just sitting anywhere. It's perfect for 30 seconds of gameplay. Um, but that's about it for this video, guys. And if you guys would like to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And if you guys have any requests, just comment down below. So I will see you guys in my next video.